Welcome back to Rousher Racing Weekly. We just finished up points race three, and it was there was highs and lows for all three cars. Right. Yeah. A typical night, you know, where you have the highs and the lows, the good with the bad, I guess. Um, my boys started off good. Blake was fastest in practice. You know, I mean, you know, not by a little bit. He was quite a bit faster than everybody. And then the track dried out, and all the horsepower <laughs> engines came to the top, and. He qualified 18th, and Evan, his car is just run like crap. I'm, I'm, we're struggling with that thing. Something's not right with it, and he ended up 30 something. And so, but typical us, you know, we we usually race faster. Yeah, know, race than, better than, than what we qualify. So, but Brent had a good high. Yeah, he ended up watching his lap. It wasn't. It didn't seem like it was that quick of a lap, but he sat quick time up until the last group went out and one kid got him by two hundredths of a second. So he ended up qualifying second for the night, which put him in his first ever dash right, at Cycle Land. Cool. So he was excited about that. He was a little bummed out that he had to start in the last row on the inside. He had to start fifth because they invert the the dashes. Right, yeah, they take the top six, the person who qualified six starts on the pole and then sixth, fifth, fourth. Uh, to back to the six starting spots. So, so we, we tried some stuff for the dash and it didn't quite pan out. So he ended up finishing sixth in the dash and ended up starting 10th, I believe, in the A main. Right, which is cool about making the dash. Even though it's a heat race, You're if you make the dash, you're already locked into the A main event. So even with my boys, if they were, you know, made the top six in qualifying out of 31 cars, you're automatically, you're obviously you make the dash, which you get a chance for a trophy if, if you win it. And then um, you're automatically locked into the A main, which is kind of cool, especially when there's a big alphabet suit yep. that night. So You get to sit back and take it easy and watch the track change. And you don't have to really push so hard and hopefully not get tore up. Right, right. But... Yeah, and then, uh, like I said, Blake qualified, I think, 18th, and then he raced his way in from the heat race into the A-Main. So Blake made his first A-Main of the year. It took us three weeks to get in there, but we finally made one. So, And then he was he didn't just sit still in the A-Main. He was he was passing cars, and, yeah. and uh, you know, we're still lacking a little bit of speed. I think it's set up. I think we're, we're getting closer on the setup with yeah. Blake's car. And so He's and then, able to hang right there with him. Right. And then Evan, he got relegated to a B main where his car, it's not running right at this point. I'm not sure if it's electrical or it's carburetor. It doesn't seem to matter. I mean, we, we, we looked at the carburetor, fattened it up, and then it didn't help. So then we went and looking at electrical. We changed the CDI box and put on there. And that seemed to wake it up, but it just, it, it, too little too late at that point. And so just that lack of something. And that right. little something is always a pain in the butt to find. Right. And, and we tried compensating with a different gear. So we had way more RPM once the engine came alive, where he was just burning the tires off halfway down the straightaway. So, you know, but he finally got some seat time and something we can work with so we can adjust going into points race four and, and see what we can come up with. So, yep. So. <laughs> Welcome back, race fans. We are here at Cycling Speedway for points race number three. But that's about to get underway here in a little bit. Um, driver's meeting's at like 3, 3.30. And then uh, 4.30 we go out for mud pack. And then hopefully for today in qualifying, I can get a good time in, start decent in the heat race. I think it's gonna be a good amount of opens here tonight. So hopefully we can get the job done. Hopefully we can make an A main this week. I don't want to run another B main. So I hope my night just goes better than it has been. Hopefully I don't make any driver errors. I know how to drive the car. Hopefully the car handles after the adjustments we made. Hopefully the chassis is not bent. I'm a little worried about that, going out there and being all over the place. Hopefully I can go out there and get it done. Yes, how Blake said that we're here at point six number three. Uh, this today, it's pretty hot out. The hottest it's been to the season. And with the air, the hotter it is, like I think it's the leaner you have to go, or the fatter I get them mixed up, but you have to go one way and 
Also last week with my car not running, we had to make some adjustments. And we come back here and then my car didn't want to fire up this morning. So then we had to run to Orville, get a different jet, come back and put it in. Got my car running pretty good. But uh, how Blake said, the night's about to get underway. Hopefully we don't do as bad as we did last week. And hopefully I can at least qualify out of the 20th position. Um, hopefully in like the mid-teens to the uh, round 10th. But um
may take you. Choose Christensen Automotive.
Welcome back from commercial break. Up now is Brent Rauscher, part of the 16250. So, uh, I'd like to recap race three, um, starting out with qualifying. Um, I went second quick. Uh, all my laps felt like they were very slow. It didn't seem like I was going that fast. Um, especially coming out of two of the last lap when it went boom. I thought I for sure blew it up, um, uh, so we then later found out it was just the ignition box, uh, so we swapped it out, and off I went. At so, that moment coming off the track, you were quick time qualifier. What did it mean for you to think you went quick time and lost a motor? I mean, when you go quick time, I mean, it feels good. But uh, when you also lose a motor, um, when you think you lost a motor, it's not that great of a feeling. So it was kind of mixed. And since I, since there's like one group after me with just three cars, I knew I'd be locked in the dash. Uh, so I knew we had a little extra time to try and diagnose and fix the problem on the car. Um, but I for sure thought I blew up because smoke was rolling off the exhaust because I didn't think that about the new header wrap that would smoke. So as I looked over, smoke was just pouring out the motor. So I for sure thought we blew it up. Um, surprisingly, uh, if I'm surprised that if it didn't uh, blow up or seize up, the only other option of it blowing up would have been to torch a hole in the piston but when we pulled the plug uh, my dad s s I spun the tires real fast and my dad clocked it in gear and it had compression so we unplugged the ignition box plugged a new one in threw it in the lap four feet fired right off so then we got the other vortex race box put that on and uh, went out for the dash and um Started fifth because they inverted. I went second quick um, because the kid that beat me in qualifying, he is super good in qualifying. Um, so I started fifth in the dash, which I didn't really want to be on the bottom. So as I tried to get to the top, uh, when I pedal the car, all of a sudden I just get tight. So I went to the bottom to see if I could make it work. Uh, ended up finishing sixth in the dash. Started 10th in the main and I think finished 9th or 10th in the main event. Um, the main event was kind of hectic. Uh, so it didn't, it started out okay. Um, I kind of made some moves. I went to the top. The top kind of fell off a little bit. But out of two, it had a huge curve. I say it about that tall. Uh, a couple times I about flipped when I hit it. At least it seemed like in the car I was going over. But um, other than that, the main event was just kind of uh, hoping for yellows because we got so strung out so fast. So once you got around one car, you kind of waited around for another yellow to try and keep going through the field because we spread out like that. Um, so that was kind of point series three. Um, I don't know if I have any questions. Uh, so if I do, let's see. Brent, that was your first trophy dash in a 250. Dashes aren't something you're um, that you've never been in, but this is your first 250 dash and certainly your first dash at Cycle N. What did it feel like or what did it mean to you to finally crack that top six? It, it meant a lot just because we're against some of the best in the country, if not the best in the country. And to be in the top six means that you're one of the best in the country. And it was super cool, um, especially with who I race with week in and week out. Welcome back from the commercial break. I'm Evan Rauscher, driver of the 07 in the Open Division. And I'm going to run you through points race number three. Um, it was not good at all. I did bad once again because my car is still not running right, which I'll explain later. But um, so, 
So we pulled uphill, we were pretty deep, but uh, for qualifying, I think I was middle to late, and we went out there, and we were still having troubles from hot laps, because before we get to qualify, we had to go out there and hot lap with the, either the group before us, or the group after us uh, for hot laps. And uh, we were going, and my car, this wasn't running right, and uh, I told my dad that it wasn't running right, and then he really didn't know what to do, so we just kind of tried some stuff and see if it worked, and it ended up not working for qualifying. So um, I qualified pretty bad. I think I was like dead last. I was the last person that had a time. The only person that I out qualified was the person that didn't have a uh, transponder on. So that's the only reason I didn't really qualify last. But besides that, that started me dead last in the heat race, which we went back to the trailer and we tried to fix what we thought was going on. So we did stuff with the carburetor and check the electronics to make sure that none of the wires were broken and nothing was really wrong we uh, fixed stuff on the carburetor that we found that were coming apart or not really coming apart but just making some changes to and we did that and go out there for the heat race didn't really do that good got a I think it was like pretty bad start they just really pulled away from me because my car didn't really want to run right and then after that i this put it around and hope that people would wreck in front of me so I would somehow make it to the A which that did not end up happening. I had we had a good friend Lance come over. He's been racing for quite a while so he knows a little bit more than us so he came over and he helped us adjust our carburetor and we did that and we go out for the B and it was running really good. I was actually going to I was actually really fast and off the start I got up to like fourth or something like that, which is the last transfer. But then I held that spot for like a lap, I think, and then going into turn one and two, I just made a driver's mistake, kept my foot in it when I should have, backed off a little bit and washed up to the wall and I about hopped the cushion and hit it. So that dropped me back quite a bit. And then after that, I just basically lost all my momentum, didn't uh, start catching the field again. Me and the 14 though, we were kind of battling for a while but then my car started to overheat and we also had the wrong gear on I had too much RPM so my car was running out of fuel or running out of gear by the time we got to the end of the straightaway so off on the entry of the corner they were able to pull me quite a bit because of that but besides that uh, that was the, my first B main I finished all year because otherwise I've just pulled to the infield because there was no point on just wasting fuel and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully the next week we can get better and do, do better and not... Okay, I'm moving now. Welcome back to Rousher Racing Weekly. I'm Blake Rousher, driver of number 3R. And today I'm going to be recapping my points race number 3 at Cycleland Speedway, which happened last weekend. And so basically to get the night started, we get there. Um, I had baseball practice, didn't get to work on the car much throughout the week, so we got to the racetrack, I nut and bolted the car, made sure everything was good, made sure it had good oil, because uh, there was a seal coming out on the shifter, so I made sure everything was all good. Did that, we went out for qualifying. I went first quick by over a second in practice, not qualifying, I mean, practice first, went over a second quick over everybody. Went out for qualifying, I think I went 19th or so. Uh, it was not good, the track got really dry that weekend, so it was really hard to like get down to the bottom and not spin the tires off. And then, so I did that, not too bad. There was a decent amount of cars there that weekend. There was a 30 something. So I set me up for fourth, I started fourth. So second row outside of my heat race. I think there was uh, six cars or so, six or eight. And um, coming to the green, I had a really good jump. The track was really good in the heat race after they reworked it. Um, I got around the guy on the tire on the bottom of me and we had a good battle the whole race basically I kept seeing him every once in a while I'll come out and peek his nose on the bottom But the top was really good in the heat races. And I just drove around him and um, Got the last transfer for the a main We struggled with the a main setup. So uh, yeah, it was just really dry that night We didn't know what to do. So I went out there I put what I thought would have been a good tire pressure but the car felt smooth and I, it felt drivable, but I just didn't have speed compared to everybody else. So yeah, I didn't gain spots unless they dropped out. I don't think I really passed any. I think I passed maybe one, two cars actually racing, but I didn't actually get to like do a lot of uh, racing against anybody because the track was just all over. And we didn't know what the car was going to really do because I think 
the weekend before was when we had the gnarly bicycle and I uh, thought we bent the car so we went and put on the skills. We couldn't get the numbers where we wanted them to so we were just kind of going out there with it. The car felt good for not getting the numbers where we needed them at but we went out there, did what I, did what I could and it was okay but we finished, I don't even actually know where we finished but it was not good. I know it was towards so I, pre I finished pretty far back in the A main, so hope we were hoping next week we'll do better. Welcome back to Mom's Corner. I'm Samantha Rauscher. And I'm Kim Rauscher. And we're going to talk about points race three. Uh, points race three for, for me, um, Brett made his first dash, so that was... Um, Pretty cool to watch. Um, he came out, set quick time, stopped on the back stretch, and I thought, oh, okay, because <laughs> they always say, or something I hear a lot is, they run best before they blow, and I thought, oh god, here it goes. <laughs> it was. You guys were pretty. Yeah. Th th that was a thought that that was what had mm -hmm. happened was yeah. that it was uh, blown up. A lot of smoke boiling out and whatever, and you know, I went back to the trailer and I was like, hey, he's quick. He's first right now and he hadn't come back off the trailer just yet or off the track just yet and um you know one thing is we can't all be at the track at the same time so sometimes we got to be with our kid at the trailer and at the time I think mm -hmm. um you and David were trying to fix Blake at or Evan yeah I think, we were, Evan. I think it was Evan we were taking care of and we were trying to figure out diagnose what was going on mm -hmm. with, with his car so so I had come back and I was like hey, he's he's fast he's quick time right now but they have one more group to go out so I mean it's that exciting moment but until it's all said and done you're not first and so the last group went out and um, he ended up second so someone did go faster than him but it again was his first dash it was a pretty cool experience I think it was best qualifying and uh, I, I I guess people should know qualifying is a huge thing at these California tracks. Mm -hmm. uh, it sets your whole night uh, where you qualify. So instead of being in a heat race, that puts him in a dash. So he doesn't have a heat race like the boys do on a typical night if they don't make that dash. So, yeah. And that's their heat race is the, is the dash. And if they win that dash, they get a trophy. They do. They get a trophy. And... Um, Qualifying has pretty heavy points attached to it, so it does. you know, being up in that top ten or in that top six that make the dash, there's a lot of points there, and so there's just mm -hmm. times where you can do really well in your heat, and you can be pretty consistent in your main. But if you're not up there, I'd say in that top ten, top yeah. fifteen, depending on how many there are, it's you can really feel the impact in points um, mm -hmm. when you're not qualifying well. That is very true. It's it, it's a, such a big thing, and I don't even know if it's such a big thing at Cycle End as it is. Red Bluff does it. it mm -hmm. There's major at Red Bluff, so mm -hmm. that's great. I, it was it's nice to see that uh, that Brent is doing so well, and that you know we are making those gains at the track and seeing him you know improve every week. Yeah, so then um, he he did, of course, go off for his dash. He started fifth. He fell back to sixth. In the trophy dash, you're locked into the A. So unlike heat races where top four maybe transfer or top three transfer, like we've seen um, in Blake and Evans, top four transferring, um, the dash carts are locked in no matter where they finish. And so mm -hmm. that is a benefit. You can test some things. You can adjust things that maybe you wouldn't in your heat race because you have to make top four. You have to make top three. Um, so he did fall back, but he wanted to try something. He knew that he did not want that for the main, so he <laughs> <laughs> took I it back off. Learning. They, have <laughs> yeah. to, they have to be able to do it like with our boys. You know, they have to come up with those tire pressures mm -hmm, or, mm -hmm. or what kind of adjustments they're going to make to the car. They have to figure that out. So it's great that he did get to, to play around a little bit. And I think uh, points race three, so uh, Blake went straight from his heat race to his main event, which was mm -hmm. his first A main of the season. Yes. Pretty cool to, to see him make that A. I mean, there's anywhere from 30 to 35 opens in a night, so everyone's not going to make it, no. and um, making it is a big deal. So um, first A main of the year for Blake. Evan has yet to make it, but I think we're, we're getting there. Um, yeah, Evan is it. struggling. There's there's some issues with his cart mm -hmm. right now. So uh, it, it, it happens. We did work on engines mm -hmm. uh, over the uh, break between Red Bluff and Cycleland. Uh, we did do some engine work. Um, 
I believe we're going to have to do more engine work. I think that's ultimately where we're thinking we're at right now. Is, and it's it's not a break. I mean, um, a break is like a couple it weeks. It was a week. Like, it's <laughs> a week so, um, it's here and there. Yeah, it was a break. That's yeah. our break. You did free Saturday. And so you have one week to really diagnose and freshen up. And um, We're running these carts hard. It's yeah, not, we're running it's, our kids hard. We're running ourselves hard. Um, it's, it's a thing. Yeah, sure. it definitely is. So hopefully, you know, for points race number four, we will have those, those kin you know, kinks worked out. He did... Uh, Finally, we did get some some adjustments into the car that night, and uh, he was able to run the B main and finish uh, the B main. So you know, we think that hopefully we got it. So yep. we'll see. So tune in every Wednesday, 10 a.m. CSTV, uh, Rush Racing on Facebook, and Brent Ash Motorsports on YouTube.